Hi, and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how I create painted tiles. Let's go. First we will prepare the tiles. The first layer will be a light green. I always color the tile from top to bottom and then from bottom to top. After, we have to wait 30 minutes until the layer is dry. Now we can apply the next coat. I will use a dark green color. Again we have to wait 30 minutes. The last coat will be a dark color, in my case I use black. Now we have to wait until the tile is completely dry. Means at least 2 hours, best case would be 24 hours before we engrave them. Let's prepare the images. Open the website image-r.com and upload your image. My tiles are 145mm in size, so I will resize my image to 150mm to guarantee it's fully engraved to the edges. I will use 282 dpi for my images, since I have a compound lens and can achieve a way smaller dot and get more detailed results that way. If you're not familiar with compound lenses watch the video in the top right corner, we explained and showed there everything. The link for the lens I use is also in the video description. After resize we will open the crop modal and change the measurement to millimeters. Now change the crop area to 150 millimeters, so it's a square. Last step is to choose your preferred algorithm, I will use the Kasia Black Slate algorithm. We will use black slate since it automatically invert the image, which is necessary when your top color is darker than the bottom colors. Let's save the image as PNG or BMP and we are done. We can now engrave the image finally. I will use 400 mm per second and 13% power on my 80 watt CO2 laser. After the engraving is done I will clean my tile with a brush to get rid of all the dust from the burned paint. As you see the tile looks great, and you can clearly see why we have applied different color coats. You can also clear coat the tile after, but make sure to use water-based clear coat, since the normal one can react with the other paint and destroy the whole image. Let's prepare another one, since it's basically exactly the same workflow I will speed it up a little. In theory it's always uploading, resizing, cropping, and then choosing your favorite algorithm. For this one I will use Nero Black Slate instead of Kasia. Basically I use for all of my tiles the same settings. It's mostly trial and error to find your perfect speed and power, but when you got it, it is pretty consistent. I hope you learned something in this video, and you'll post some of your tiles in the Facebook group. Link is in the video description. Also please subscribe our channel. Leave a like and a comment with ideas what we should show in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.